potato. Potato? <laughs> she must have gone to say good morning to Todd again. <laughs> potato, are you asleep? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. No, potato. Good morning, Potato Pal. Did you sleep here with Tot all night? Uh-huh. Hey, Totsy Tot. <laughs> oh, no. What's up, little sister? <laughs> oh, it's your gums. Mama said they would be hurt you while your new puggy teeth grow through. <laughs> Poor Tot. So that's why you stayed here all night, Potato, to look after her. Uh-huh. Kind potato. Uh, uh, is that you, Chip Dip? Better hoodie up, secret mouse friend. Are you checking on your little sister? Yes, Mama. Well done, Chip. I'm so proud of you for letting Tot sleep with your snuggly potato again. Uh, again? Your potato seems to comfort our teething Tot much more than her toffee mouse. Yeah. Oh, diaper change, Totsy Tot. There you go, little sister. <gasps> Would you like to keep Potato with you all day today, Tot? My Snuggly always makes me feel better when I don't feel so good. That's so kind, Chip. I'm sure Tot would love that, but are you sure you'll be okay without your potato for the whole day at school? Hmm. Mm hmm. I'll be just fine, Mama. See you later, Bye. Mama. Bye, Spud. Bye, Chip Dip. Bye. Uh... <laughs> wow, Chip. This must be the first time you've ever been to school without potato. It is, Nico. But poor Tot's teething, and she needs potato more than me. Good morning, Happy Hoppers. Good morning, Mr. Badger Fox. Uh, Chip Pug, Principal Wooly would like you to go to her office before class this morning, please. Um, okay. I'll let Mr. Diggerty know you'll be a little late for your first lesson. Nico? I've never been called to Principal Wooly's office before. I wonder why she wants to see me. I'm sure it'll be okay, Chip. I should get to class. Good luck, Pug Pal. But how do I get to Mrs. Wooly's office? If Potato was here, she'd know what to do. Oh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> um, Mr. Badger Fox? I've never been to Mrs. Wooly's office before. Please, can you tell me how to get there? Oh, it's very simple, little Chip. Go all the way to the gym, around the corner, past the music room, turn left, and you'll be right outside Mrs. Wooly's office. Thank you. Um, Chip, it's that way. <laughs> Oops. Gym, around the corner, past the music room, turn left. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. The gym! Around the corner. This is just like the time I had to find my way to the school office with the attendance book. <gasps> Past the music room. But where do I go now? Oh, I wish my potato mousie was here. She'd remember the way. Potato? <laughs> Wait, I know that sound. Turn left! Mrs. Wooly, I found you! And your office. You certainly did, Chip Pug. And perfect timing. I have something important to talk to you about. Come in. I wanted to ask you about this. That's my story. I wrote it in Mr. Diggerty's creative writing lesson. Yes, Chip. It's so good that Mr. Diggerty showed it to me. I'd like you to read it out, loud and proud, to me, your principal. Oh, I've never read it out loud before, Mrs. Wooly. 
Well, now is your chance. <gasps> Careful, Chip. Sorry. <gasps> this is Wooly. My story. Oh, Chip. Oh. Now I can't read you my story, Mrs. Wooly. Could you try and remember your story and tell me about it instead? Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a pug who wanted to play in a music band. But she... Uh... Um... What did I write next? It's okay, Chip. I'm sure it will come to you. If Potato was here, she'd help me remember. But she's home with Tot. Oh! Tot and Potato. That's it! Um... Mrs. Wooly, I can't remember the story I wrote, but I do have another story I'd like to tell you. Well, I'd love to hear it, Chip. Go ahead. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a teensy tiny pug called Tot. She wasn't very happy because her new little teeth were pushing through her gums. <laughs> it hurt a lot. The only thing that cheered Tot up was cuddling her big sister Chip Snuggly Potato. <laughs> but what nobody else knew was that Potato wasn't just a Snuggly. <laughs> potato could change into a real life mouse who loved to play. <laughs> <laughs> potato Mouse spent the whole day caring for Tot, cheering her up and eating her food. <laughs> Till Tot felt better again. The end. Well done, Chip. What an excellent story. You have a wonderful imagination, pretending you're Snuggly as a real mouse. Is Potato the Snuggly you always bring to school with you? Yes, but I didn't bring her. I mean, it with me today. I left Potato with my sister Tot. She's teething, just like in the story. And have you missed her? I mean, it. You're snuggly. I did feel a little worried when I couldn't find your office, Mrs. Wooly. I wished I had Potato then, and when I couldn't remember the story I'd written. Well, I think you should be very proud of yourself. That's why I'm awarding you this. A certificate? Wow! Thank you, Mrs. Wooly. I can't wait to show it to my potato after school. <laughs> now off to your happy hopper class, Chip. Mr. Diggerty will be expecting you. Thank you, Mrs. Wooly. Are you excited to have a snuggle with potato, Chip? I can't wait, Nico. I found it hard to go the whole day at school without her, but I did it. Happy bye, Chip. Happy bye, Nico. Mama! Mama! Mrs. Wooly gave me a certificate for my creative stories. Well done, my clever little puglet. Where's Tot and my potato? Tot went to play next door with Ron and Ruby because Potato made her feel so much better, Chip. Then the Razzles took all the wriggly gigglers to the park. So I need to go to the park too, Mama. Can we go? We can. Spud, hurry! We need to go to the park now! <laughs> I hope Tot looked after Potato today, and that Potato looked after Tot. <laughs> Snuggly toys can't look after pugs, Chipolata. <laughs> Hi, Razzles! Howdy! Tot! Potato! How are your gums, little Tot? Uh... <gasps> Tot, you've got your first puggy tooth! <laughs> she certainly has! Nice one, little assist. Time to celebrate! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can snuggle Potato for longer if you need to, Totsy Tot. <laughs> oh, now that your tooth has pushed through, your gums aren't so hurdy? Thank you, Tot. Thank you. <gasps> what was that, Tot? Say it again for me, Totsy Tot. Thank you. <laughs> oh! Wow, Tot! You got your first tooth, and you said your first words. You said thank you, and you said it to me. Oh. oh, oh okay. Look, Potato, I got a certificate today from Mrs. Wooly. <laughs> oh, 
You want to go on the swings to celebrate? Didn't the baby swings go high enough for you, Potato Pal? Nuh uh. Come on then! <laughs> Whee! I'm glad you cheered up Tot today, Potato. But I missed you. I'm not ready to leave you at home all the time. Oh. And I don't want you to miss out, especially not tomorrow. Pop is coming to school to talk to the class. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Huh? <gasps> Potato, it's my creative writing story. It flew out of Mrs. Wooly's window all the way across Happyton and back to me. Oh, 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 oh. That's what we're gonna do. They're here! Hoodie up, my secret snuggly friend. Neighbors of Welcome Walk, this is Chip speaking. Oh, way to go, Chip. My Grandma and Gordy are moving into our street right now. Are you ready to give them a big Welcome Walk welcome? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> welcome to your new home, Grandma. <gasps> Chip and Doodle, what a Fantastic surprise! Oh, thank you all for the wonderful welcome. Gordy and I are so happy to be taking over Flingo's store. Which is soon to become our Puggy Pumpkin Taqueria, serving you the tastiest tacos in town. Yay! But we're not ready to open our taqueria just yet. Aww. So... We're opening from here first to give you a taste of what we'll be serving in the restaurant. Roll up for a breakfast taco takeout. Abra Pugabra! If the tacos are blinking, the tacos are a cooking! Yeah! Oops! Sorry, Chip! We'll help you. Uh-huh! <laughs> Thanks, Stomp and Stamp! Mmm. Thanks, Grandma. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain. Quick, under here, Nico. Yo, oh, my taco is getting soggy. Oh, our customers are disappearing. There's no point cooking if there's going to be no one to serve. The sooner we open the restaurant, the better. Then our new neighbors will be able to sit and eat inside. Why can't you open the restaurant now, Grandma? Come and take a peek. Uh, I'll close up the van. Oh, it still looks like a grocery store. A very empty one. Exactly, Chippadoodle. Are those tables and chairs for the new restaurant? Yes, they are, Nico. Gordy and I ordered furniture and paint, too, but we haven't had time to plan where everything will go. Hey! hey, hey. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Nico, I can help Grandma and Gordy open this restaurant today. The tables and chairs could go there, and the yummy tacos could be served there. Or maybe the tables go there. Oh, I'm not sure where's best. Uh, Chip, my daddy's still in town, and I think he might be able to help you. Let's go and see him. I love your doll's house, Andy. <laughs> Actually, Chip, it's not a doll's house. It's called a model, and it helps the family decide where furniture should go in their house. Daddy travels the world making models for his job. The model is a smaller copy of a real house. So you can move the furniture around easily and try it in different places. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone's happy with how the model looks, I make the changes in the real house. This model's for a kangaroo family. It's pugtastic. <laughs> oh, your little brother's awake. I'm coming to get you, Bodie Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky potato. Andy nearly saw you. This isn't a mousy housey, you know. It's for kangaroos. <laughs> Oh, you think I should make a model of Grandma and Gordy's restaurant? Uh -huh. I'll help you, Chip, and Boo-Bam can watch. Huh? Boo-Bam? Boo-Bam! 
Boo-Bam. He's my new Snuggly. Daddy gave him to me as a present. He's so cute, Nico. <laughs> More Boo-Bam Snuggles later, Potato. We've got a model to make. Let's go to my bedroom. We can use my bamboo blocks. <laughs> More bamboo blocks, Chip! <laughs> what a marvelous model, Puggy Panda Pals. Tables and chairs and a counter and... <gasps> Can you tell me about this bit, chip -a doodle That's the taco takeoff machine. When your taco is ready, the takeoff machine shoots it into the air and it lands right in your paw. <gasps> oh, wow. You've made something super special there, Chip. Let's start changing the store to look the same as my model. Oh, but, dear Chip, your model is missing one important thing. A restaurant needs a cooking area. With a place for... <coughs> Our new stove! Welcome to Welcome Walk, Grandma Pug and Gordy. Where would you like me to put it? Hmm. Well, we're not quite sure yet, Donnie, but uh, well, maybe just leave it here for now. Oh, Nico, I didn't think about a stove. And where would it go? <laughs> ah, clever, Potato. Thank you. Grandma, Gordy, that's where your stove should go. Next to the window. <laughs> it's a puggy perfect spot for cooking. And if the stove is near the window, we could put in a hatch. Just here? Well done, Chip. Oh, now we can serve takeout straight from the stove to the street and serve customers indoors, too. Taco-tastic! And our Puggy Pumpkin Taqueria will be ready to open tonight. Um, uh, except we've run out of pumpkins. We need to drive over to Farmer Pat's Pumpkin Patch to stock up before he closes. Oh, sorry, chip -a doodle Gordy's right. Changing Flingo's store into our taqueria will have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, Potato. It looks like it's gonna rain again. And if it does, Grandma and Gordy won't get many customers at the taco truck tonight. Oh. I need to help them change the store into a restaurant now. But I can't do it on my own. <gasps> We have neighbors who can help. Mm. Thanks, Potato. Welcome up. This is Chip speaking. Come on out, Puggy Pleasy. I need your help. Sure. Come on, everyone. Yeah. Let's go, hey, Papa. Huh? Building is better, working together. There's nothing we can't do. First we're fixing, then we're mixing. The store will look like new. With a heave and a ho, ready to go. Painting can be fun. Chip made a plan and with a helping hand, the work will soon be done. Hee ho, this way we go. Bang, bang, rivet. Tighten. Screw. Done! The taqueria looks just like the model and it's ready to open its doors to Welcome Walk. Grandma and Gordy are going to be so happy. We're more than happy. This is the most magical surprise ever. <laughs> <laughs> chip -a doodle you are one very special pug. I am so lucky to be your grandmother. You ready, Chip? abra pug -dabra. If the tacos are blinking, the, the tacos, tacos are cooking! <laughs> and it's free pumpkin tacos for everyone to thank you all, new neighbors, for helping us open our restaurant tonight. Yay! Yay! Just in time! It's raining! Oh. It's raining. Everybody inside! Um, any chance of a little help with carrying these pumpkins first? We need them for the tacos! Oh, yes! <laughs> Are you coming, Daddy? Sorry, but I can't, Nico. Hmm. 
It's time for me to go. But I love you both very much, and I'll see you soon, okay? Oh. <laughs> it was so great to meet you, Chip. Thanks for helping me. Have a good trip. I love you, Daddy. Come on, Panda Pals. We have tacos, too. Take off! <laughs> to me, Chipster. Whoa. A taco? How Flingo fabulous! Hi. Hi. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Flingo. Hi, Chip. Hello, everyone. Well, doesn't our old store make a fine taqueria? We just stopped by to invite you all to our first synchronized swimming show. Fantastic! The show will officially mark the start of our retirement. Would you mind putting this poster in our... I mean, your window, so everyone knows about it? No puggy problem. Can you stick it up for me, please, chip -a doodle I will, Grandma. <gasps> You're keeping my model! Of course. Without it, the Tuckeria still wouldn't be open. Watch out! Taco take off! <laughs> Yum! Thanks, Nico! <laughs> <laughs> My pasta fish picture is going to be the most puggy, perfect present for Tot's first birthday, Nico. She'll love it, Chip. Oh, you need to finish sticking now, Chip. The glue needs time to dry or the pasta will fall off when you move your picture. Yes, Mr. Diggerty. Tell me about your picture, Howie. It's a pasta explosion, Mr. Diggerty. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen one of those before. Finished. Chip, the glue won't be dry yet. My fish picture. Mm, it's ruined. Maybe you have time to make another one? Happy Hoppers, clear up, please. It's home time. <laughs> oh. Oh, I was making a special pasta picture for Tot's birthday potato, but I didn't wait for the glue to dry and the pasta fell off. Quick, hoodie up, my secret pal. Are you talking to your snuggly again, Chip Pug? <laughs> oh, Nico, now I don't have my picture. What am I going to give Tot for her birthday this weekend? Hmm. When my brother Bodie had his first birthday, I made him a special bamboo cake with bamboo frosting. That's it! I'll bake Tot a Pugalicious cake for her birthday. Thanks, Nico. Let's go, Potato! <laughs> bull, bull, I need a bowl to mix the cake ingredients. Oh, there, little chip pug. Slow down. I'll get the things you'll need while you wash your puggy paws. Okay, Papa. Paw wash for you, too, Potato. <laughs> Chip, do you know what kind of cake you want to make for Tot? It's going to be really big with orange frosting because orange is Tot's favorite color. Pugtastic! And what flavor is it going to be? Pineapple! What? How? <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, Papa. The cake will be pumpkin flavor, of course. Our puggy favorite. And I'm going to make it all by myself. <laughs> That's my chippy pug pup. <laughs> This video will show you how to make the cake. When you're ready to put the cake in the oven, holler. <laughs> You'll need a grown-up pug to do that. Thanks, Papa. Hello, my dears. Granny Fant. <laughs> Welcome to Granny Fant's Fantastic Baking Channel. <laughs> Are you ready to follow my delicious pumpkin cake recipe? <laughs> First, a fant fact. Fast is fine, but baking takes time. So if you need to pause to catch up, just press here. 
Right, my dears. Let's get started. Woohoo! <laughs> Put two cups of butter and two cups of sugar into a large bowl and mix together. <gasps> butter, sugar. Now add two eggs. <laughs> Quick, Potato. We should be adding eggs. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clever potato. <laughs> now, you should have a fantastic gloopy mixture like this. Our mixture isn't gloopy potato. Now, add a pinch of baking powder and the flour. No, stop! We're not ready! Oh, phew. Phew. Thanks for pressing pause, potato. Can you rewind the video so we can watch it again? I'll keep mixing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you think this mixture looks gloopy, Potato? Uh -huh. Yes! Ready! Press play, please, my secret pal. Now add a pinch of baking powder and the flour. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> What's next? Time to add the pumpkin, and then one last big mix. <sighs> Making a cake is taking ages. <laughs> You're right, Potato. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> How's your cake coming along, Jeplet? Quick, hurry up. Huh? Oh. I'll mix, Papa. Top job. Let's get that mixture into the pan and into the oven. Stand aside. Grown-up pug coming through. <laughs> My first ever cake for Tot's first ever birthday. Is it baked yet, Papa? <laughs> nope. The timer will go ping when the cake is ready to come out of the oven. I have to wait? Uh-huh. Well, there is something you could do in the meantime. What's that, Papa? Clean up the kitchen? Oops. I guess I was kind of rushing a bit. Oh, I better go check on Todd. I'll leave you to it, Chiplet. Cleaning is going to take forever, Potato. <laughs> Hello, my dears. Ready to clean up? Great idea, Potato. Cleaning up will be fun with music. <laughs> the cake's ready to come out of the oven. Papa! Fantastic cleaning, Chip. And, oh, your cake smells pugalicious. Stand back, Chiplet. This is hot, hot, hot. Oh, magnificent. I did it. I made a cake for Tot all by myself. Now I can frost it. <laughs> Not quite yet, Chip. It has to cool down first. Huh? And, oh, oh no. We haven't got any orange frosting. How about you go to Flingo's store to buy some while the cake cools? Yay! Have you been baking, little Chip? How did you know, Mrs. Flingo? Well, you have a little flower on your nosy. <laughs> I'm baking my first cake for Tot's first birthday. I need to buy some orange frosting, please so I can decorate the cake in Tot's favorite color. Come on in. Let's see what we can find. I think the frosting is out back. Look, Potato. Birthday candles. One of these would look puggy perfect on top of Tot's cake. Let's get a candle as well as the frosting. Uh-huh. A one for one-year-old Totsy Tot. Uh-huh. <laughs> I found the <gasps> frosting, Chip. It was in one of the boxes we're packing up. Packing up, Mrs. Flingo? Yes, Mr. Flingo and I are about to retire. We're selling the shop so we can spend more time doing our hobby, synchronized swimming. What's synchro... 
skin crow. Synchronized swimming. It's like ballet in the water. Mr. Flingo and I do the same moves at the same time. Wow. You both look very good at it, Mrs. Flingo. But I'll miss you running the store. Thank you, Chip. Are you ready to pay now? Yes, please. My cake will be frosted in puggy no time, Papa. <laughs> Over to you, Superstar Baker. What'd you do? No! <gasps> Little Mama's home! Oh, Mama. I baked a cake for Dot's birthday and now it's ruined. Oh, Chip Dip. Let Little Mama see. I think maybe if we're careful and take our time, Chiplet, we can fix your pugtastic cake. Really, Mama? Puggy promise. You see, frosting is very sticky. Oh, I can use the frosting to stick the cake back together. Uh-huh. Okay, go slowly now. Wow! I fixed it, Mama. I mended my cake. I'm so puggy proud of you, my Chippy Dip. Your little sister's gonna love her cake. <laughs> no puggy peeking, Totsy. Chip's got a surprise for you to enjoy tomorrow on your birthday. And your big brother will think it's pugalicious. Spud, he's back from sleepaway camp tomorrow. I can't wait. Thanks, Mama and Papa, for helping me with my cake. <laughs> oh, our puggy pleasure. Is our superstar baker ready for her photo for Granny Fan's baking channel? <laughs> Say pumpkin cake! <laughs> oh, wait, Papa, don't rush. <laughs> the candle. Now I'm ready. Pumpkin cake! Oh, <laughs> oh,